Adair scored the winning goal in Euro 2016 last night and what better time than to go retro on FIFA and use my favourite card of all time. This guy was simply put a machine back in FIFA 14. He was unstoppable as a non-rare striker. He had four star skills, four star weak foot, an outrageous long shot and it wasn't out of the ordinary guys for him to score three or four goals every game. Honestly, he was that breathtaking. But in terms of a team around him, I wanted to build a pretty cool hybrid around Adair as the main man of this team, the Euro 2016 winner for Portugal. And yeah, when we're Danilo right back, David Luiz, Naldo, Petr Cech, the former Chelsea goalkeeper there back in the day in FIFA 14. I love looking at this like squad builder page, by the way. It always looks nice going on retro FIFA. Alexandro comes into the team at left back, a very Brazilian looking team so far, especially with the defence. Then I could have the choice of going with Ola John, but weirdly, I didn't have Sequeira from uh, Benfica. I only had his Atletico Madrid card. I went with Lika, the left mid Portuguese player. Then I got to go with Alan right mid. Could have gone very in saying that, um, but felt like for this team to get Adair on the full chemistry went with his teammate Alan. Then I used the, oh my god, non-rare De Bruyne. 80 rated De Bruyne. That seems unheard of there like right now. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Now we should be about 87 rated probably in FIFA 17. We then use Iogo. Very, very talented holding midfielder for the team. And of course, I've got to use Julian Draxler. He would be my number two um, best player ever for me on FIFA. Honestly, those two at the top are just so hard to stop if you're a defender. But yeah, there's team guys. Let's get into the goals with Adair. If I was to choose a starting striker in my ultimate team, Adair would be that man. Every day of the week, there's no doubt in my mind he was so thrilling to use two years ago in FIFA 14 ultimate team. Honestly, the fun and joy you got out of this player using him on the game was just ridiculous. There's, for me, there hasn't really been a striker since him that's given me that like joy um, on Ultimate Team. Like in terms of someone who's so overpowered and just so fun to use, and that's to be honest one of the reasons I wanted to start this week off by going on and doing a retro FIFA video. I really wanted to get back to the roots of Ultimate Team, and when it was fun, and my God, FIFA 17 will be fun. I really do predict that. I've played it quite a bit. And I think it will be like that. But FIFA 14, what a fun game this was. And to use Adair in the capacity that you could on this game, the long shots were unreal. The uh, chip shots, as you can see there, were great. And you could even score some crazy back heel goals with a non-rare striker like Adair. And in terms of pull power, do you guys feel like you still want to play FIFA 16 in terms of the gameplay itself? Like I was saying this with you guys on Twitter the other day, I feel like FIFA 15 and FIFA 14 especially, you wanted to play it even in the months of July and August, like a month before the new one, whereas now there's not much other than draft and packs to go on. So let me know in the comments your thoughts on that. Adair, though, for me, guys, has to be my favourite card ever in Ultimate Team. It's been amazing and really awesome to go back and use this card. Which retro FIFA do you guys want to see me play next, though? We could do a FIFA 06 pack opening, could go even further back to FIFA 98. I've got a lot of FIFA 17 videos this week and transfer videos, which you guys have been loving as well, so can't wait for that. And Adair, what a ultimate team card back in the day.